I'm Tom, and I work here in Antarctica. Antarctica is an awe-inspiring place, full of wildlife uniquely adapted to this cold and highly seasonal continent. Unfortunately, field workers are not so well adapted, so most science and monitoring is carried out in the summer months when penguins come ashore to breed. During this time, I have to get round as many sites as possible and collect data. We're here in Antarctica. This is a Reconyx hyperfire that we're using to take time lapse uh, photos of the penguins. So, Antarctica is a little bit different to your traditional location. Um, we have no trees, so we've come up, well, we've borrowed this idea of putting a standard camera tripod. We lash some mat to the bottom of that on the three, three legs, and then we put rocks on top of the mat and we pile that up into a can to just under the base of the camera. So as you can see, we've piled rocks on our tarpaulin. If I give that a shake, that is pretty bomb proof. So now the weak link is the end of the tripod and the attachment to the camera. So we've used an epoxy resin, we've glued this on, and we've tightened this up and we've put glue on the join as well. Then we take some cable ties and we put them through the hole which is normally for the elastic to tie to a tree and we lash that onto the onto the end of the head. Then finally we angle the camera wherever we want and tighten everything off. In fact cable ties and glue have not been strong enough so we're now using scaffolding poles and the Versa mount. So we've put uh, 12 lithium batteries in here which have rated down to minus 20. Uh, we've tested these last season, they last the full season. Uh, we've got a setting on here of a uh, time-lapse interval uh, which we're going to set throughout the season. Hopefully that's going to give us uh, Gen 2s and the Daily Penguins which are using this highway which we'll show you in a second which the camera is set on. So far the cameras have performed brilliantly. We've buried them in snow, we've had them hit by rocks. They've all survived the Antarctic winter and still been recording even if they haven't still been attached to the tripod. They're now showing us when penguins arrive, when they breed, or whether they successfully raise a chick and how long this takes for a whole load of new sites that we've not been able to study in the past. The big challenge now is to make the power supply last long enough so that we can leave them for more than one year. <laughs> 